Hi everyone, this is Lillian Suarez and this is my chakra prescription informational video. The reason I'm doing this video is because I have so many signed up. For example, today um, I have 150 people signed up so it's kind of impossible for me to uh, return messages one by one but I don't want to ignore anyone. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys um, instructions on how this works and the idea of the chakra prescription. Uh, I do this sometimes randomly through the month or in a full moon. Today happens to be a full moon, the last full moon of 2017. So I am offering my chakra, my full moon chakra prescription for free today. I will be doing this attunement. Uh, what is an attunement? It's a charging and a clearing of your energetic body. And I wanted to show you guys what I mean by energetic body. As you can see here, this is my aura picture. All right. So this is the this was the color at that time of my auric field. Now these colors are uh, they vary they change um, based on the colors of the rainbow. Um, and how do they change? They change based on your thoughts, your emotions, uh, your you know your mental state. So this is our chakra system. And this amazing report came from Lisa, and I can give you guys the link on my Facebook or put it below this YouTube video on how you can come to her if you're in the Chicagoland area and you can get this report. It's pretty cool. So here's our chakras. The chakras are associated with the colors within our org field, as you can see here. Um, and again, what, what the spirit world sees as well, if you're a developing medium, is our colors. They don't see our physical, they see our colors. Um, every chakra vibrates at a different vibration, but as you go higher, the vibration goes higher. We have red for the root chakra, orange for the sacral chakra, yellow for the solar plexus, green or pink for the heart, a sky blue or a light blue for the throat chakra, and we have indigo um, or purple or white for the third eye. It just depends what you resonate with. And last but not least, clear quartz or again, golden light up on the crown chakra. So the purpose of the chakra prescription really is to be able to refresh those colors. As I stated, your emotional state, your mental state really changes those colors based on where you're at. And sometimes if we're going through something that is so difficult and we can't get past, that color might not be as bright as it should be to be healthy for us. It might be dimmed, it might be dull, okay? Um, and so our colors depend really on our mental state. We have, um, you know, our thoughts are, and our thoughts become our outcomes because that's energy. So that's a little bit of how um, we, we can see the colors uh, with the chakra prescription, right? And that they exist in the auric field, our magnetic body, and also uh, the chakras serve as antennas within our spirit body, um, as well as our physical body. So this is the chakra prescription that I provide to everyone to um, have the instructions. And what we do with this is if you purchase the chakra prescription from me or I'm offering it for free, I'll tell you to go into the chakra pharmacy group on Facebook. And if you're not on Facebook, I'll email this to you. What I start off with is what are chakras? So you can do this if you're somebody that doesn't know anything about chakras and you're starting fresh, you're starting new, it's okay, it's all right. This is gonna tell you everything there is to know because we start off with, again, what, what are chakras? And then we talk about balancing our chakras, okay? The 21 day cleanse. And when I got attuned to Reiki, you know, um, we had to do a 21 day cleanse or it is believed in a lot of traditions that when you have an energetic shift or a clearing or charging of any sort, it takes uh, the physical body at least 21 days to be able to adjust to the new frequency, to the new energy that you're in. Within these 21 days, um, you know, I ask that you guys do a salt scrub weekly, or if you already have a routine of a weekly clearing for the auric field, that's beautiful, wonderful, and perfect. But I've given you guys options of what I do. Um, one of the things that I do is uh, um, I add Florida water to Epsom salt. So this is the Florida water. You can find this on Amazon. I do sell it locally, but because of the alcohol, it's not affordable for me to ship, but you can find it on Amazon. And if you are international, uh, there are 
videos that you can see to make your own Florida water, but it smells magnificent. And um, I add a little bit of this to Epsom salt, sea salt, and baking soda, and I make a paste. I either add that into the bath once a week and sit in there at least a minimum of seven minutes, or I make a scrub and I grab a handful and I scrub it on my body from my neck down. Okay, and what this does is the Florida water refreshes what we're clearing out because the Epsom salt the, and the um, sea salt and the baking soda, it's clearing. That's why I like to get the Epsom salt with a floral scent because you want to add a, a fragrance. You want to add freshness, okay, the aroma to, to you know, have that around your, around your org field. Um, again, we tell you, you know, that you, the requirements is an open heart and open mind. Uh, we do ask that after the attunement, um, you increase your water intake and you drink the attuned water. Now we're talking about the attuned water. A lot of people say, how do I do that? I don't understand how to make the attuned water. What are you talking about? And so there's many ways that you can uh, make the attuned water. Um, basically prepare them because if you're not a Reiki practitioner, I attune them for you at the time that I attune you and your frequency. And so I'm going to show you different ways for you to make the chakra waters. There are normally seven main chakras as we spoke of already. And um, one of the things that I did for my chakra water bottle is this. I did this with a vinyl machine and I bought these on Amazon. And I put it on here and then I tuned it to the frequency of the color red. All right. And then I even let this sit under the full moon to charge. So I got, you know, all of them in many different colors here. So we have one for each. Uh, we have red, we have orange, we have um, yellow, we have green, so on and so forth. And then when you put the water in here, um, normally what I'll do with this one is um, the bottles are attuned to the color, but then I would use the gallon of water that I've also asked you guys to use um, to refill uh, sometimes the the water in the bottle um, because it's a tune water, but you want to specifically use the water that you attuned for your root chakra. So if you took a water bottle and I'm sorry, let me get the water bottle. I should have. If you take a water bottle, let's say we want to go ahead and we want to prepare the water bottle. All right, for the root chakra, the red chakra. We can go ahead and take this label off. All right, taking the label off. And as you can see, I have a red. This is one way. I have a red Sharpie. All right, so the red is going to let out the frequency automatically because each color has its own frequency. So this is one way. And what would we do? We would just start going ahead and making the water bottle red. All right. And again, while you're doing this, believe it or not, you're giving yourself the frequency of red in your org field because you're focusing on the color red. Okay. So that in itself is amazing and wonderful. So again, you know, I would go around, 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 and I would continue to color this water bottle with the intention that this is for my root chakra and put it under the full moon so that it's a, it uh, charges as well with the water in it right so because the color is on the bottle it starts to attune um, the water in the water bottle all right so it starts to attune it which um, is awesome and then you actually see that? that's pretty cool so it starts to uh, attune the water to the color, and then uh, it's attuned to the full moon, and I also attune it to the frequency of the color red. So that's one way, right, of making this water bottle a root chakra water. All right, root chakra water. So, yes, I love it. Let me just finish up here. So, again, this is with a permanent marker, and voila, you know, you just sit here. And it feels good. I love it. I love um, focusing on the color as I'm painting. Okay, look at that. Look how awesome that is. Yay! It's so cool. All right. So that's one way of making a root chakra water or chakra waters with the permanent markers. And you can buy one with all of the colors. All right, guys. You can buy one with all of the colors. 
okay? Um, that's the second way. This was the first way, attuning this. That one has the water in it, so it'll attune. So if you're doing, if you've done this, then I would suggest that you have seven gallons of water, and then you label it root chakra and paint the whole gallon of water red. Make sense? So that you can keep refilling. All right, and and it's attuned, so it'll give the frequency once the water's in the bottle. But you can do that as a plus as well. Um, a last thing, the last thing that you can do for the water as well is use gel paper. Um, you can find it on Amazon, and I've posted it in the Chakra Prescription Group. You can find it at Walmart and Amazon. The gel paper, you can, um, there's pictures as well. Cut it and put it around the water bottle, okay? Um, some people tape it to um, bottles like this as well. So it just depends what you're guided to do. But the gel paper is about 12 bucks for all seven for a pack, so it's not bad at all. Again, we're focusing on the frequency of the colors to be able to allow um, the water to get um, the frequency that's needed for that particular chakra. Now, in the prescription, I ask you to have seven water bottles, seven, okay? Um, because on the first day of your prescription, you're going to use the chakra water and you're gonna drink it. You don't have to drink it all at once. Uh, you could drink it little by little through the day. And again, um, it's now got the frequency of the color red. I also have attuned the waters. Again, when I'm attuning you, I'm attuning the waters as well. So you're going to drink this. Um, on the day of the root chakra, which is your sense of safety and security. And again, we've given you everything that you need to know here for each chakra, right? Um, we talk about the balance chakra, the underactive chakra, the overactive chakra, and the affirmation. You would eat, live, and breathe the color red for day one of the chakra prescription. You would wear the socks, red socks. You would wear red underwear. You would wear, wear a red shirt. You would paint your nails red. You would just be crazy, okay? Just get crazy, um, focusing on the color red. And through the day, you can get very creative if you just wanted to drink the water and say the affirmation, brilliant. You don't have to invest a lot more money. I get it. You know, I'm all for saving money. But if you wanted to go a little crazy to use this once a month, because you should, to keep that spirit body nice and bright, especially if you're psychic mediums or practitioners where we're coming in and out of energy, you can add the chakra glasses. So you can find these on Amazon. The set, I believe, is like 40 something dollars with shipping. And you would wear these for at least 15 minutes a day on root chakra day, on red day. You wear the glasses for 15 minutes. And let's go above and beyond. Through the day, you would also use the chakra oil. Now, you can make these oils. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's red. You can make these oils by putting base oil and then adding whatever um, essential oils that are associated with the root chakra um drops of that in this oil all right so in here i have patchouli and i have cedarwood so i have patchouli and cedarwood it smells fantastic and you would do this and also you would put it um below you know uh in, in, as low as you can in your pelvic area for your root chakra so you would use the oil you would drink the water you would use the glasses you would say the affirmation you would also use the crystal, carry it on you. If you have a bracelet, wonderful. If you have a necklace, wonderful. Um, but you would use this, okay, um, and you hold it all day on root chakra day. This is red jasper. This is associated with your root chakra. Um, we want to go a little bit further here, and we want to talk about color therapy now. The same gel paper that you use to make the water you can cut a little piece if you have a light bulb like this and put the piece around it. You don't want it to melt, so try to have it a little bit loose there. Um, I've also posted pictures in the chakra prescription, uh, sorry, the chakra pharmacy group for you to see. Cut a piece and put it in there. So you'll turn it on and beam, stay under that light for 15 minutes. All right, now this particular one costs $12. It's on Amazon as well. And it's pretty cool. It's called Magic Lights, and it comes with a control. 
As you can see, when I'm giving color therapy to someone, I have all the chakra colors here. So I don't need the gel paper for these, all right? Again, this is, this is called magic lighting, all right? And comes with the control. And you just, you know, put it, in, obviously, in a, in a light. And voila, it's great. I really like it a lot. You can give yourself color therapy, not only with the glasses for 15 minutes, but also with the light beaming on you. Let's say you want to lay on the biomat on your massage bed. There you go. Um, another thing that you can do as well here is if you wanted to make an oil, a bigger amount of oil, and you can find, of course, I got an owl, but a big container that would be red then you would just you know, put your base and put your essential oils in there and you would put this under the full moon or just let it charge for at least seven days um, in the color red so that it can get the frequency, okay? And I thought my mother-in-law was kind enough to get these for me. I thought they were so cool and so brilliant. So I have all seven. Um, you can also go a step further and you can light a root chakra candle. Now, if you can't find these, I actually found these at Five Below. Um, you could simply get a red candle, all right? You could simply get a red candle and, um, you know, light it and dedicate it to your root chakra so that you're using the element of fire to help balance that color as well, right? Um, there's really cool stuff. You can, you know, to focus on the color red, you know, you can build things and get creative with anything red. These are craft sticks. So if you wanted to build something with the color red, you can, completely and totally up to you. Uh, but again, it's just eat, live, and breathe the color red. Another thing that I suggest as well, um, I, get, I give these to my students, and then I tell them to focus on coloring the picture, but with just a specific color. For example, here we have um, the color yellow. So we have a yellow color pencil, a yellow marker, and a yellow pen. So you would just color this picture with the color yellow on solar plexus day, which is your third day, because that's associated with the color yellow, okay? So that you're giving yourself therapy by coloring, all right? You're coloring and you're focusing on that color, and that color is vibrating, zoom, 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 into your org field, all right? So this is, and it's great therapy as well. So again, you can buy any coloring book, anything that you feel. All right, um, and that will help. Another thing that I that I did in the very beginning of my journey, which triggered the whole chakra prescription, is use these. They're so old. It's called Truth Heal cards. All right, Truth Heal card uh, cards, and um, they're by Deborah King. All right, and she has all the chakras in here. All all cards for all of the chakras. All right, and let's say that you're working on the you know heart chakra all right you would just pull all the heart chakra cards and on heart chakra day just shuffle shuffle the cards think of what you know uh, the color green means to you or bring it into your frequency and pull a couple cards a day all right so this is really cool because it says real love is an emotion of truth love has the power to heal all wounds we may have suffered if we allow it to flow have I isolated myself from others or am I excessively drawn to others in need of their approval and love? Do I give too much attention to the needs of others and not enough to my own? So this brings you to different places that you can think of to revisit and evaluate and balance in your life. So again, these are Truth Heal Chakra cards and they're by Deborah King, okay? They're by Deborah King. So you can do that as well. Um, so many things. Um, also, I found these pretty cool cards. It's called the Secret Language of the Secret Language Color Cards, and um, they're really nice and bright. And I really like it because if you shuffle the cards, um, you know, on any given day, there's many different colors in here. Let's say that you've done the prescription already, and you know you want to keep going with this. You can get these cards, and again, it's by Ina. Eagle. Okay. Um, you'd pull the card. As you can see, I got coral, right? And it says, allow flow and synchronicity into your life. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. So that's cool. Um, and then we would look and see that's on page 18. So you go to the book and we would go to page 18. Um, no, sorry. We'd go to 18. It's not by page. It's by card. 
and there's coral okay and it talks about the card but then it also talks about what you can do uh like an exercise to help yourself all right and this in this particular one um the exercise that they give is experiment with tangerine to awaken um sorry here is sorry about that i was in the wrong one um it says imagine coral rays shining out of your heart allowing more flow of synchronicity into your life See or sense yourself stepping on the coral road that leads you onto the right path. In this vibration, this happens easily in synchronistic ways. Say, my life is easy and full of synchronicity. I follow the most divine path for me. Anytime you have to make a new decision and need some extra help visualizing stepping on the, you know, stepping on the, the coral path, just say that affirmation. So again, I really like that because it gives you an affirmation to go with the color and the purpose of how that color vibrates with you. And again, these are the language of color cards and they're by um, Ina Siegel, All right? So that's cool. Um, another thing that I suggest to use is a aura mist, all right? And here's the aura mist and I have them in all the colors. Now I make them, I put, um, some secret um mist in here some secret ingredients but then i also include it with the oils that are associated with that particular chakra again this is a water bottle and i put the decal on it okay um and this is why i tell you guys to also have a gallon of water so you have the seven bottles of water you know how to use those now the gallon of water you use to refill these because it's a moon attuned water along with uh, Florida water if you want to put some in here and the drops of the oil associated with that particular chakra all right um, so it's really cool you can get creative with that and on root chakra day you would not only use the oil you would um, use the mist you would right do the glasses you would you know use the color red to to color you would be creative with the color red right you would use the light you would wear the socks, you would wear the underwear, you would carry the crystal, you would eat, live, and breathe the color red. In my chakra pharmacy um, group, you will also find chakra smoothies, which I give thanks to um, Maria Rodriguez for that. You would also find um, chakra foods that are in there as well. And you would find a list of chakra herbs, which I give credit to uh, Maria Molina for that. All of that is in the file. So you can eat the foods even, you could drink the teas, you could use the clearing herbs. It's sky's the limit. Okay, sky's the limit. So, you know, um, you can get creative how you want you don't only have to do what i'm asking you if you want to get creative paint your nails every day the color of the chakra use the socks wear the pants wear the shirts wear the shoes um if you just want it to just drink the water say the affirmation close your eyes and visualize the color red for 15 minutes you're perfect you're fine all right so don't feel that you have to do all of this and have all these things in order to do this prescription what I love about this is you don't have to have any experience with the chakras. It introduces you to the chakras and it allows you to understand, all right, um, how the frequency helps you. Now, what you need to do when you start the first day of your chakra prescription with your root chakra is journal and pay attention to how you felt when, I want you to journal every day, how you felt when you were in the root chakra um, uh, frequency was it hard did you feel unstable did you feel like I don't want to you know I really don't want to to be in that frequency um, another thing that I like to suggest is listening to Tibetan singing bowls for each chakra for clearing each chakra so of course you would do it on the day pertaining to that chakra so root chakra day you would listen 15 minutes to the Tibetan bowl um, dedicated to the root chakra and pay attention to how you feel in that energy and so why i ask you to do that is when you're done doing the seven day prescription let's say that you were fine with all other six chakras but when you were doing the solar plexus chakra which is the color yellow you were like you know what i felt off i felt like nervous um then you would do the solar plexus prescription so then you would do this for seven days you would 
eat, live, and breathe the color yellow, you would say the affirmation for seven days straight. You would have seven water bottles that are the color yellow instead of just one. All right. So that would help to attune that frequency and that chakra that's unbalanced, that's making you feel some type of way. Okay. Um, it's really cool. Uh, you would obviously, if you got these glasses, you would wear the glasses. You know, if you're somebody that is um, obviously a healer, you can use these glasses for your clients and give them color therapy if you like. Uh, you know, another way to kind of know on the day of the root chakra, um, you can use this pendulum to be able to measure your chakras. I uh, posted, um, giving credit to Luann Beecher, uh, um, a pendulum uh, scale. And so if you, you put it in front of that chakra, the area of that chakra in front of you, this would be my heart. And I'll say, all things considered, what is the status of my heart chakra? All right. If it's going to the left, it's underactive. It's going to the right, it's overactive. So you would measure it in the morning and then in the night you would measure it again and see where you're at. So you can kind of see, did wearing the colors and saying the affirmation, drinking the water during the day, did that help me? So this is a way to see that it's really happening. And this is really cool to do because you're like, wow, it's in a different place than it was this morning. Can't make the shit up. You just can't. <laughs> So that's a really cool thing to use as well. This is a chakra pendulum. You can get them on eBay. You can get them on Amazon. They're very inexpensive. Um, if you wanted to get one separate for each chakra, you can do so completely and totally um, understand, you know, uh, what you're feeling, your intuition and what you're guided to do. All right. Um, again, what the point of this prescription is, is for us to shift things sometimes that we're not able to shift on our own. You know, frequency is everything. Everything is energy. And believe it or not, doing this, you're changing how you're feeling mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. You really, truly are. Um, you know, it, with these mists, um, this is another uh, design that uh, Kathy Beltran did and sent to me. Thank Kathy. Um, it's awesome. So again, if you're doing the root chakra, you can even grab this and you can mist it in your room. You can mist it in your car. You can mist it in the corners of your house every day. The next day you would go ahead, right? And then you would do, you know, the sacral chakra. All right, miss. Use it on yourself in the morning. Use it on yourself in the night and then go in all the corners of your house. So not only are you attuning yourself, you're attuning your space, which is extremely important for you to attune your space. After this attunement is done, where I charge and I clear you guys tonight, you guys can start with the chakra prescription. And it'll take you seven days. If you want to continue, simply send me um, the picture of the bottles of water. Let's say that, again, as I used the example, you wanted to do the solar plexus because you felt like that was very off. I want to see a picture of the seven bottles of water that you prepared for your solar plexus prescription. Um, each area, um, each area based on the chakra is different so in our lives for our lives and the root chakra is associated with sense of safety security the sacred is your passion your creativity and your relationships with others your solar plexus is your intuition your power your ego so and it affects different organs in our body as well so my god when we're doing this it's such a big shift i ask you guys to be gentle with yourselves Things might surface that you haven't thought about in a long time, but guess what? It's been sitting there, not paying rent. It's time to evict it. Get it out. Get it out of your subconscious. Get it out. It's weighing you down for no reason. Don't be afraid to face it. This is going to trigger detox. Just like when you get uh, an, a massage, right? They say drink a lot of water because we massage those knots out. What we're doing with the chakra prescription is we're massaging out those knots in our spirit body. Within our spirit body, just like there's seven chakras, we have seven bodies. Each of them are associated with different things, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, so on and so forth. So we are really changing a lot when we're focusing on this prescription. And it is my honor to have been guided uh, to go back to what I did in the beginning of my journey and to be guided to do this because I use it myself and it really does help. Um, yes, I attune you, but you know, if you wanted to just focus on the and the colors and do it based on the colors and bring in that frequency, you can. And you can use this as a tool and you can put it in your toolbox and use it whenever you would like. So again, I wanted to make this video so that I can answer everybody's questions and I don't wanna ignore anyone at all. Um, I truly, really appreciate everyone's trust 
And um, I'm excited about today. This is the last full moon chakra prescription for 2017. I'm giving away free. We have over 150 people signed up. Remember, guys, you do not have to be present physically. Obviously, I am doing this for international people, U.S. people. You can be sleeping during this attunement. You don't have to be up. Please don't think that you have to be up in any particular way. I will be on Zoom during the attunement. Um, so that everybody can kind of talk and, and, and say what they're feeling as I am in the process of performing the attunement. And um, I'm excited to be able to do this, uh, you know, to finish out the year and to begin the new year nice, clear, and fresh. So again, I thank each and every one of you guys for allowing me to be part of your journey. And I thank you so much. And I hope that you take this and you really run with this. This is something that we do in week three for my students in the certification course. This is something that I do week one for my mentors when they're mentoring with me. And the reason I do this is not because they need to start from scratch with the chakras. It's because they're starting refreshed and they're starting new in a frequency that they will keep through their spiritual hygiene. We are focusing on the spirit body. This is like a bath for the spirit body. And this bath is needed. Imagine, you know, if you don't take a bath for a long time, you're going to start to stink and you're going to start to feel yucky and you don't want to feel yucky and you don't want to stink. All right. So um, let's go ahead and keep it moving here. I love you guys very much and I appreciate your trust in me very much so. Um, again, my name is Lillian Suarez, and um, please like and share this video. If anybody's interested in purchasing the chakra prescription um, afterwards, please reach out to me. My website is lillianmedium.com, or you can reach me at 630-546-5478. Again, you can text me at 630-546-5478 below this video you will have a link to my chakra prescription group as well as this um, other instructional videos that I had made, which is chakra prescription one and two. Many blessings to everyone and bye for now.